Hi guys, thanks for tuning into this CarTech video. Uh, we get a lot of questions from people asking us which is the best tool to diagnose air suspension faults in Porsche vehicles. Uh, so we're going to we're going to demonstrate that now. This is the iCars of POR version 2.0, and it's available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I will put a link to this kit in the description below this video. So uh, yeah, the POR2 now the air suspension system. This is a Cayenne. Uh, I think maybe the the Panamera and also the Macan may also have air suspension systems. Uh, it is an option. So not all. Cayennes, for example, will have air suspension systems. This one does. Uh, so with the tool plugged into the diagnostic port, uh, we need to click on to diagnostics and just basically select our system. So we need to go through the option. First of all, select Cayenne. It's this one here, 92A. Manual, it's not a manual transmission it's a manually select the system which we wish to diagnose so we've got one of 41 here so it's there's 41 different modules for us to potentially uh, communicate with and find codes on and we just need to find the the uh, the level ride control uh, oh, I haven't gone past it there we go LCM level control so um, we're gonna click on to enter here now this vehicle it's performing fine we're not getting any messages on the dashboard to say there are any faults, but when we go into it, we've got uh, 0003 348 PASM emergency mode, and also C12085, check PSM control unit fault memory content. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that doesn't necessarily relate to a fault with the suspension. It's telling us to check the PSM, so I'll do that in a second. Uh, but ultimately, that is how you would check for faults in the suspension system. You can also uh, go to data stream. So what you can do is you can get live data from the air suspension system. So we've got to start. And it's giving us 39 different types of live data for us to potentially get stuck into. So if you're interested in, you know, knowing what the live values are from the suspension, the airbags, then this is going to give you 39 separate data sets, which may or may not be useful for you. I'm just going through here and showing you what is available and what types of uh, level information you'll be able to get. There we are, back to the start. It also gives us some other options here. Switch on, duration exceeded. Reasons for controller deactivation. So, that is, oh yeah, and one more version information as well. Gives you uh, software and hardware numbers, Porsche part numbers as well. So there we go, that is just a really quick demonstration uh, on how to do diagnosis of the, um, well actually what I'll do one second. Sorry, I know I said we're nearly finished, but I'm just gonna go back into that PSM module because it, it did tell us to check the PSM module. We recently changed an ABS sensor on the PSM actually. Uh, read DTCs. Front, front left speed sensor electrical fault. Hmm, that's yeah, that was the sensor we changed. So I wonder if the, the we just didn't actually clear the fault code. I think that's probably what's happened. Clear DTCs. Are you okay? So we'll raise operation done. Let's just go back in. No fault code found. So that's fine now. That's probably what was triggering that other fault. So if I go back down to uh, the ride level. level control read DTC so those faults are still there if I just clear those erase operation done go back in no fault codes found so it'll be interesting to see if they come back actually I suspect not because we have fixed the ABS sensor and we're not getting any messages to say that there's still a fault in that system so everything looks good uh, but it's the iCars of POR version 2.0. Obviously, it also covers, covers other systems like engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, service reset, DPF, steering angle sensor, electronic park and brake, you name it. It's got a wide coverage range uh, and wide vehicle range as well. 
Uh, it is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I will put a link to this kit in the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.